Chagas disease is a parasitic illness that is found mainly in the poor rural regions of Central and South America. And it is estimated that in excess of 10 million people are infected with the disease. I'm Dr. Joff Lacey and I'm in Bolivia to meet a woman who may just have found a solution to this devastating disease. Chagas disease is caused by the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi, which is carried by the triatamine bug known locally as vinchucas. When an infected vinchuca bites someone, it leaves behind infected feces. Scratching the bite rubs the infected feces into the wound. Once in the body, the parasites multiply and spread. The acute phase of Chagas lasts approximately two months, causing mild symptoms. It then goes into remission, and it can be decades later before the chronic stage begins where the parasites attack the heart and digestive organs, which can cause intestinal and cardiac disorders. Progressive destruction of the heart muscle can lead to heart failure and sudden death. There is no vaccine. Hola, Abraham. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Abraham Hemiel is an expert on the deadly vinchuca insect. Generalmente, la vinchuca se esconde en los agujeros de las paredes. Abraham assures me that at this time of day we won't be bitten. Tiene más actividad durante la noche. En el día permanece oculta en, en las grietas, pero en la noche sale para alimentarse y generalmente, como vemos acá, aquí duermen las personas. Oye, aquí. That's a vinchuca. Sí, esta es una vinchuca. He's big, eh? Sí. Si tú gustas, si te ofrezco para que lo captures. So I just take and put. Sí, sí, al vaso. Click, listo. Ya está. Abraham, how, how many vinchucas do you think are in this house then? En mi experiencia, yo he encontrado en algunas viviendas, casi en algunas ocasiones, más de mil vinchucas. One thousand vinchucas. Yeah. Oh my word. The pain and suffering caused by infection has a devastating impact on communities like Urunditi. Of the 250 people that live there, Abram estimates that up to 80% have Chagas. Ulita, hola. What has been the impact of Chagas disease on your life and your family's life? Trabaja, pero cansa. Do you have Chagas disease yourself? De repente tengo. Mi hermana, pues, mi hermana. It's Chagas. My dad is muerto. My marido igual. De repente por ahí pues, pero no sé. For the past 15 years, Dr. Pilar Mateo has been working in Bolivia, using an insecticidal paint to rid its infected communities of the Vinchuca insect. Tell me about Innisfly. This is the paint you have developed to combat Chagas disease. Look like a paint, but yeah. it's more sophisticated. It's a, a new technology. It's a biopolymeric microcapsulation. In other words, the new paint is an advance on previous insecticidal paints because the insecticides are embedded within microcapsules, which slowly release them over two to four years. Containing the insecticides like this means that the concentration of chemicals can be lower and that several different pesticides, which don't work if they are mixed together, can be used. OK, so do I have to dress up like that? Yes. OK, well, let's do it then. There's, there's nothing I'd like to do more than put an overall on in 35 degree heat. Which color? This color? Blue? Azul? Celeste? Nice. You want to spray? Yeah, I'd love to spray. I'm sure I wore some of that, something similar to this when I went to a Ghostbusters party. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then just... Uh... OK? Currently, each home costs approximately 200 US dollars to paint, with the financial support coming from various organizations and private donors. 
In the last 15 years, Pilar and her team have treated 6,000 homes in 93 communities across the region, which are home to 24,000 individuals. Incredibly, the number of new cases of Chagas disease in these communities has dropped to almost zero. This is because one insect bites you. Yeah. The more important is the, the insect don't bite you. Yeah. This, this is the prevention. This is yeah. the best vaccine uh, to, to, to vaccine the, the house, not the people. With the inside and outside painted, the house will be clear of the insects within 24 hours. Following its success fighting Chagas disease, the paint is now being used to combat dengue fever and malaria in communities in Ghana. Hola. <laughs> Barbarita lives in one of the first villages that Pilar treated in Bolivia. Barbarita, can you uh, describe to me what your house was like before uh, the painting was done? Era la casa de tierra que no tenía una obra fina, no tenía pintura, la pared sin revoque, lleno de huecos. So were there lots of vinchuca in your house? Sí, le podíamos ver, pero nosotros ignorábamos lo que causaba el mal de Chagas. Ella es mi nieta. Las otras dos son mi hija. And they're Chagas free. Gracias a Dios y gracias a la doctora, las pinturas no tienen. <laughs> 